everybody. It's Christy with AG Takes Over. Welcome to the final day of AG Fashion Week. I hope that you have had a chance to check out my videos. I've put up one for all five days of Fashion Week. And I hope that you have gotten to check out some of the amazing um, videos that other AG tubers have been putting out this week, all focusing on our lovely dolls, what they're wearing, what we're dressing them in, what dressing challenges we're doing, etc. I would love your feedback about Fashion Week in general. Feel free to search that um, when you're looking for more of these videos and to spread the word. This was the first um, attempt doing it. And I just had the idea and lots of people were on board. So hopefully it will grow and it will become an annual thing like, you know, Dalmas and dress like an AG and all of those other fun things that give us a sense of community. So um, to recap my week, I started with the red vinyl jumper doing my one item 10 looks challenge. Then the next day was the 2017 truly me meat outfit dress. And then I focused on creating 10 looks from Claudie's meat outfit. And yesterday's video was creating 10 looks from Kira's comfy camping, whatever that the, the pink thing is. Whew, that one was tough. In all of the one item 10 looks challenges I have done for the duration of this channel, that was probably the toughest, <laughs> the toughest followed by the red vinyl jumper. And this video, holy crap, what a surprise. So I do not like Luciana's meat outfit at all. Like I once did a rating of ranking of like top best top three best and top three or bottom three worst um girl of the year meet outfits and she was either number two or number one at the bottom like i think it was like second worst of all of them in my opinion i do not like this dress i do not like this dress that said do you know that this is not one item 10 looks? This is one item 14 looks because i blinked and i had created 14 looks already and I could have easily kept going. Like, it was nuts how easy it was to cr create 14 looks. And I like most of them. Who knew? We borrowed, I borrowed the outfit or the dress from a friend of mine. So I don't even own the thing. And doing this challenge wasn't enough to make me decide to go out and buy it. But if we happen to come across it and it comes into our possession, um, in the past, I've been like, how quickly can I get this thing out of the house? Because I hate it. And now I would probably keep it. Yeah. So let me just jump right in and show you what changed my mind. I'm going to start with the, uh, just because I accidentally did it this way, I'm going to work in reverse order. So you're getting number, the look number one is actually the 14th look that I created. So we're just working backwards. Bear with me. It'll be fine. Okay. So for the first one, I've got these shoes with the little rhinestones on it. Straight out of the gate, we're going for an evening look. We've got glitter, we've got sparkle, we've got sequins, we've got a fancy velvet bolero shrug jacket. And if you can see up there, we've got a nice kind of metal and uh, rhinestone headband. So yeah, I think this is successful. It's not my favorite. And I don't know why those shoes are so wide on her feet, but... Um, 49, our Fiona looks really cute in this. And there's no black in the dress. I just figured if you put enough black throughout the rest of it, um, it's it's not going to contrast or it's not going to clash with anything. All right. And the second look, I'm pulling on the navy blue and the blues in general from this spot. I mean, there are other blue spots on here, but I think it's easy to overlook the blues in this, but when you pull them out, it really works. Also, I mean, it doesn't hurt that we picked a doll, that I picked a doll for this with like perfectly bright blue eyes. I love the beanie. The um, Bella Boo's closet sweater is a favorite. I think those might be Elite Doll World shoes, but I can, boots, but I cannot remember. Look how cute this is. Like, it really makes this look kind of wintry, which I think is an accomplishment. It's not a wintry outfit. Like, 
or it's not a wintry dress at all, but this works. Look number three, using Isabel's shoes. Those look kind of wide on her too. She must just have narrow feet. Um, so Isabel's shoes. And I don't know um, if this purple shrug thing was part of an outfit or if it belonged to a, a specific character. I can't remember, but it's, it's AG. And then I believe that is an off-brand headband. But here we're just leaning into like the pinks and the purples. I hadn't used a shrug um, yet. Remember this one was actu in actuality was like the tail end of doing this challenge. But yeah, I think this is really cute. I like it. Next one is kind of ridiculous. I mean, everything about that um, birthstone silver outfit is over the top. <laughs> so this is definitely like she wants to be over the top. Like, don't mind the fact that the space buttons totally look uneven and um, I should have redone them, but I didn't feel like it. I think this is hilarious. It's It's kind of giving like... She's at like a NASA party, <laughs> if this makes any sense, because all the silver reads very astronaut to me, and then it's the galaxy dress, but clearly she's not taking herself too seriously right now. So yeah, she's like at a space jam. Oh my God, she's at a space jam. Yeah. If you've watched that movie, then you know. Okay, same kind of boots, but they're purple instead of blue. And then... Um, Tenny's jacket. And then I tried something here that I don't think worked. I was going for like a little bit hippie, a little bit country singer, songwriter. And so I did the headband this way. And then I was like, no, it's just not working for me at all. So I switched it up and look how much cuter this looks. I left it in here instead of refilming it with, you know, I left the like across the forehead thing in here instead of refilming because you should get to see my fails too. It's all right. It happens. They don't all work. I do think it works really well once I um, put the headband like this. This is super cute. And now it does feel a little bit like country singer songwriter to me. Next, I don't know where these, which outfit the blue shoes go to, but these kind of culottes are from the Something Navy collab. Again, drawing on those blues, same thing for the sequin bow, drawing on the blues really works. These glasses are from Molly's Be Forever Meat Outfit or Be Forever Molly. And I think this is precious. It's like preppy, the combination of those glasses with the pants and the bow. Like, I don't know. It's like she belongs to the rowing team or something. I have no idea. <laughs> this She belongs to a class that I don't have access to. Let's just say that. Um, and then next was a pair of shoes that my wife got at the doll show in Celine, Michigan recently. Sage's bracelet. Um, this random thing, I don't know if it's a hair tie or a bracelet, but it's red and purple. So it was perfect. And then the vest from one of the CYO outfits and be forever Molly's red beret in general, a very common criticism that I hear about this outfit for the, this dress from people who don't like it is they could have leaned more into the blues and blacks and purples of the galaxy craze. Why did they lean so heavily into reds? And um, yeah, I'm with you. Like if, if that's your opinion, I hear you and I agree. But for the purposes of this challenge, I was like, all right, well, let me at least do one outfit that's actually embracing the reds. And it's not my favorite. I don't think it's because of the reds. I think like just the combination of um, the vest not being like great and the vest and the beret maybe not really working well together. It's not my favorite, but it works. Like, I think it's successful. It's just not my personal taste, if that makes sense. The next one, on the other hand, we went back to leaning away from the reds, going into the grays and the blues and the darker colors. This is um, the same skirt that I used in a previous challenge. There's a bracelet that I made. Um, this is an off-brand skirt. It fits snugly on everyone. And this is a uh, something navy 
or no, Janie and Jack. I don't know. It's one of the the collabs from like a mix and match collab from recent years. I love it. I love this. (laughs) I love her little stance. She looks like she has a little bit of attitude. She's just confident, like not mean girl, just confident. Like she's not a wallflower. Always, always, always with the overalls. If I had to pick, and we have like a pair of white overalls and a pair of purple overalls and Nikki's overalls and these and two other pair of Kit's overalls, if I could only have one pair, it probably would be these. I like all of them, but if I could only have one pair, it'd probably be these. So um, the shoes are just like pink high tops. Um, Maybe they're Nikki Hoffman's. I can't remember. Like maybe they come with her skateboarding outfit, I think. Anyway, um, I think those are Gabriella's ponytail holders. And I know that's an off-brand headband. And I was obviously leaning into the hot pinks and fuchsias in this. I love it. I always love the overalls outfits. So yeah. Next, um, across from where I sit when I work, I have a lot of the girl of today outfits. And I looked over and saw the millennium outfit and went, oh, that could work. And then I also remembered that I have this necklace that I made. And it looks kind of like, you know, moon rock, space rock colors in there. And I wish I had a better match (laughs) for this headband because I like this style of headband, but I didn't have like a solid purple or pink one. All of the ones I have are patterned. So it mixes some patterns. It does it work a hundred percent. Maybe not, but I like it better than some of the looks. Like I, I really like that style of headband, um, that, you know, I tie at the top. So I would say mid range, mid range for this one. And normally this would be a wrap, right? But no, because this, uh, this dress was like so surprisingly easy to style. So yeah, I ended up doing 14. So let's keep going. I usually try to see if I can get a winter look out of whatever I'm styling, even if it seems like a ridiculous idea. Like (laughs) it's a, you know, like Blair's meat outfit. And I'm like, can I make this little bee dress wintry? Um, so this almost works. Tell me what you think. There is, and I cannot think of it, but there's a white winter coat that American Girl makes. It came out as a mix and match item the same year that like a pale lavender velvety or like velour dress with a with a snowflake on it. It's from that same year's collection. I think that might have worked better for this. Or maybe I should just not have used the leggings or maybe I should have used shorter boots. I feel like the the shrug and this my life as hat work pretty well. And, but the bottom part doesn't, and I don't know if I had switched it to a coat, would the whole thing have looked more cohesive? So let me know what you think of it and would it have been a better move to use a coat or a better move to lose the leggings or change the shoes? Inquiring minds want to know. Next was look number 12. This was actually one of my favorites. So Gabriella's little um, rehearsal shoes, some random lace Um, lacy ended capri leggings and then some our generation top and one of Blair's scarves and then I this just felt very like I go to Juilliard I attend dance class for eight hours a day and we like to constantly be stretching and wear layers and texture and always have our hair up in a slightly messy bun I only know about Juilliard from movies, so I basically know nothing about Juilliard, <laughs> but I feel like she would fit in. She would at least fit in in a movie about Juilliard or some any, you know, real or fictitious dance school. Um, by the way, if you make comments about these, I guarantee you, if you say my favorite looks were numbers, blah, 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 and just tell me the numbers, I will not remember. And then I'll have to do extra work of watching my own video 17 times <laughs> as I read through all the comments. So if you can help me out and say like the one with the short sleeve purple sweater or the one with the white winter hat or something like that it would be super helpful if you can, if not, it's all right. Next look number 13. 
Um, as I've said before, I always try to incorporate some grays or some neutrals. Gray was like the oh, gray and black were like the only neutrals I could incorporate because brown would have probably looked ridiculous. Um, but yeah, grays work. So um, the hat is off brand. The cardigan is seamstress made. And then the leggings and the shoes are both um, or the ankle boots are both American Girl. And I love this. There's no gray in the outfit, but it's neutral and it's kind of pulled in throughout from head to toe. So I think it works really well. And holy crap, her beautiful eyes just pop. Like they, they pop so much. And sometimes everybody like oohs and ahs about number 49. And I, even though we own her, I don't always get it. But doing this challenge, I got it like with every single outfit. I was like, no, she, she looks so good. I get it. I get the hype. So yeah, this challenge was like, it made me appreciate that dress more and it made me appreciate her more. So yay. I'm glad I did it. Um, some AG boots, Courtney's bracelet, the purple jumper and a random hair clip from Target. This was the one that started the challenge. This is what I started with. I was like, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with this. And you really can't. Um, I love that jumper. I love the green shirt that goes with it. I don't like the boots at all, but other than that, the outfit, like it's totally slaps. Okay. Here is a picture of all of them together. This was the final video of the week, you know, a mere five videos this week. And, um, I'm not taking any weeks off. I'll be back next week with another video. So make sure you're subscribed and you've got your notification bell turned on. Hope you have enjoyed this week, that you continue to check out some of the other videos and that you're having a fantastic mental health day. Take care.